So uh, we have a little bit of a surprise today. Amen. Amen. This is a great surprise. We don't have our traditional rebirthday cake here because it was... It was decided later in the week. Daniel and I actually have been visiting and, and uh, talking about uh, this event. And, uh, but he notified me Thursday night. He says, this is the Sabbath. This is the Sabbath. So, amen? No delay. And so uh, Daniel is, as many of you know, is a member of our church. You know, he, he has uh, been a member of our church for a while. And... Uh, longer than I have, and, uh, and you're probably wondering why we're standing here today. What, what's, what does this moment mean for Daniel? And I'm going to ask Daniel just to share that with you from his heart. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, yeah, just like the pastor was saying, um, I, I was baptized um, when I was a kid. Um, you know, I was baptized when I was a kid. Um, just, just throughout time, um, throughout the years, um, you, you learn, you know, what life is about. And, of course, um, you, you get tempted as, as well, you know, just, just as any, anybody else does in the world. Um, you get tempted, you, you do things, and sometimes you regret these things that you do, right? And um, just throughout the past two, three months, um, my daughter and I usually leave early before the sermon starts because they start getting hungry, right? So um, I told the girls, you know what? You go to school for eight hours. Um, we could stay in church for two hours. <laughs> um, so we started staying in church um, for the full service uh, for the past two months. And the sermons that they've been preaching those past two months um, um, have hit home. So it, 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 it um, was awesome hearing these sermons especially the last sermon that Pastor Matthew did about baptism um, was, was pretty ding awesome, and, um, which is why um, I decided to get, get re-baptized, um, especially now at where I'm at in life and being a father to my beautiful daughters. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, being a father to my beautiful daughters, Evangeline and Jasmine, um, there's no better example to do or to have is being a godly man and, and being that example for them. And, uh, and just having God in your life and being a, a godly man um, is the best way in general to be successful in life. So, um, yeah, I just want to thank the, the pastor for, for this opportunity and thank all you guys for, for making um, this church being a home for, for me and my family. Thank you very much. So, so before we continue, now we, we don't have the birth, rebirthday cake here today, but uh, Marta has so graciously gotten together a, a fruit basket, some fruit with some nuts and everything for Daniel and his, his immediate family. Uh, that we, we put together for you, and we want to make sure that you get that when, when, uh, at the end of our service here. And um, before we go back, there's a couple things that I want to do. Uh, Daniel has already, you know, demonstrated his love for Jesus in the sense of seeing Jesus as his personal Lord and Savior of his life. And uh, he wouldn't be here today if he didn't believe that the Bible was the inspired teachings and Word of God. So we're going to take that, and normally we, we walk some people through some, some steps and so forth just to, again, that gives them an opportunity to express their faith in Christ and what they're doing. But there's one I want to read today. He's already desired. He's already a member of this church, so we don't have to do a vote to vote him in as member of this church. But because, again, Daniel has expressed to me, and we've already covered this in, in my office, but I just want to do it for those that are here today, maybe this is your first baptism that you're witnessing, right? Or maybe, uh, again, you need a reminder of what, what baptism is all about. And so there's a statement here, Daniel, that I want to read and then just have you respond to, okay? 
Okay, it's a, again a statement of faith of what, what this really means. What does baptism really mean? And the question is, is it your desire today, Daniel, to be baptized as a public expression of your belief that in Christ you have died to sin? And having died to sin, you have also been buried with Christ. That's what that means when we're born of the water. That water that we're going to get into represents a watery grave. When a person has died, what do we do? We bury them, right? Okay? But the amazing thing is that in Christ, as we were buried with Christ in baptism, Christ was, didn't remain in the tomb. He was... Raised, he was resurrected, right? And if we died with Christ, Paul says we shall also be raised with him, right? So he's, this, this baptismal service, he dies, he takes that breath, we bury him. We bring him up out of the water and he's going to take another breath. And that represents what Jesus meant by being born of the Spirit. Before you can be born of the Spirit, you need to die to sin. And so he... He's the expression in his baptism, he's died to sin in Christ. He's also been raised in Christ and given new life through his spirit, a life-giving spirit. And so that's what this all means today. And as you're raised, Daniel, up out of that watery grave, God has given you his spirit to live a new life, to bring glory to the Father and a testimony of the power of that is now dwelling in you. So is that your desire? Is that your testimony today in your baptism? Amen. Amen. That means I'm in agreement with it. That's what amen means. Let it be so. So before we go back, we we have a song that has meant something to Daniel that he's uh, asked us to play today. And I think the song speaks of itself, the meaning of this song. And so we're going to stand here and enjoy it together. When the song is over with, I'm going to have a prayer over Daniel, and then we're going to go back into the water and and do the baptism. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. And in the middle of the war, you guard my soul. You alone are the anchor when my sails are torn. Your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm. When the solid ground is falling out from underneath my feet, between the black skies and my red eyes, I can barely see. When I realize I've been sold out by my friends and my family, I can feel the rain. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. In the middle of the war, you guard my soul. You alone are the anchor when my sails are torn. Your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm. When my hopes and dreams are far from me and I'm running out of faith. See the future I picture slowly fade away And when the tears of pain and heartache are pouring down my face I find my peace in Jesus' name In the eye of the storm, you remain in control says I've only got a few months left 
It's like a bitter pill I'm swallowing. I can barely take a breath. And when addiction steals my baby girl, and there's nothing I can do, my only hope is to trust you. I trust you, Lord. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. Thank you, Father. You are there in the good times and in the stormy times. You never leave us nor forsake us. And today, Lord, as we celebrate with you and all of heaven for Daniel's decision and what you have done in his life and you will do through him, we just again ask that you will uh, honor this decision today. That, Lord, again, as Daniel comes up out of those baptismal waters, he will know that once again, this is your son in whom you are well pleased. And Lord, we just pray that as you gift him, uh, not only with the fruits of the Spirit, but Lord, as you give him various gifts for the use of edifying and building up the body of Christ, building up his home and building up the community, we pray that Daniel will take every opportunity that you give him again, Father, to testify of the power of your love. And we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you are uh, the family members and those that uh, would like to, you can actually come up on the platform. We're going to go around. We're going to kind of make this a little quicker in the baptistry. Uh, our heater didn't work, so it's going to be, this is a real... This is a real dedication, right? I mean, Daniel is bound to determine this is going to happen, right? And so I'm, I'm going to be right there with him. But we're going to be in the water and, and out. So if you want to come up and be a little closer during this time period, we'd like to invite you to come forward.
Daniel, because of God's love for you that he sent forth his son, that you might have eternal life in and through him. And your acceptance of that, it gives me a great pleasure and an honor, not only as your pastor, but as a bro fellow brother in Christ and friend, to baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen! That wasn't bad, was it? <laughs> Thank you guys. So while Daniel is going out um, and Marta continues to play, you can play softly there. Um, again, I don't think any baptism should go without an invitation. And uh, there are connect cards there should be in front of you. Uh, maybe you haven't taken this step yet in your own life. And uh, as Paul says in Acts, he says, You've heard the gospel. Why are you delaying? Rise up, be baptized, and wash away your sins. I want to invite you to take that opportunity. And maybe like Daniel, maybe there's some things that have been tugging on your heart. Maybe this is something you did when you were quite young, or maybe you didn't quite understand what it was all about, and uh, you'd like to consider or have that conversation about rebaptism, Or maybe it's just something that you can take care of when we have communion next week and the washing of foot washing service and partaking of the Lord's emblems, Lord's Supper emblems. But again, I just, I want to give that opportunity to you and just have a, a quick prayer once again to allow the Holy Spirit to touch the hearts of each one here today. Oh, Father, thank you for your faithfulness. And I just want to pray, Lord, for each person within the sound of my voice, whether they're here in this live audience or whether they're watching by live stream. Lord, I pray that, again, you would uh, touch the hearts of each one and move them, Lord, to follow uh, in your direction and in your footsteps. Thank you, Father. We look forward to seeing Jesus return very soon. In his name we pray. Amen.